We dress our CBN wheel with a traverse diamond disc and then grind hardened steel parts. The first part after dressing is always burned to death and we have to scrap it. When we do smaller parts, we have to scrap several parts before the wheel opens up. Sometimes we drop the feed rate to avoid the burn, but then it takes a longer time to get the wheel to open up. Our wheel supplier says we should actually double our feed rate, not half it. We tried that, but it was kind of scary. Is there any way around this? Now, when you dress a CBN wheel with a diamond, a diamond disc, what happens is that diamond disc tends to dull the CBN grits in the wheel. So they look something like this. The diamond, the CBN grits are very flat. They have a lot of little micro cracks in them. And what we have to do is we have to get those cracks to open up. Because typically we start grinding and we get lots and lots of heat generation because we're grinding with a very dull wheel. We grind for a while, then those cracked grits start to open up, start to sharpen up, and then after a while they look something like this. So this is a typical power profile that you'll see with the CBN wheel. You dress the wheel with your diamond, the CBN grits are very dull, you start grinding, and your grinding power is very high, so that means your grinding heat is very high. Now after a while that CBN, those CBN grits start to open up, those little micro cracks start to fracture, and we start to sharpen up those CBN grits. But until we do, we're getting high power, high heat, and high burn. So what can we do to get that, this wheel to open up faster? Or what can we do to alleviate the burn? Now, one approach that people take is they say, well, we don't want to burn our parts, so we're going to cut our feed rate in half. Cut the feed rate in half, we've got less power generation, so even though our wheel is dull, well, we only got half the feed rate, so we may not burn our parts because we've just got half that feed rate. If you do this, however, the grits are not really digging into the material because we're only going at half the feed rate, so therefore it takes even longer to get that wheel to sharpen. The second approach recommended by your wheel supplier is just the opposite. They say, hey, when you grind that first part, rip into that uh, part with the CBN wheel, put a lot of forces on those CBN grits, and let's get them to fracture sooner. Well, that's an option too. However, we've got double the feed rate, which means we're going to have double the power, and that's why you said, well, it was kind of scary because we had double the power with this dull wheel, so we run the risk of burn or other bad things happening. A third option is to say, well, let's grind at the standard feed rate, but let's drop our wheel speed. If we drop our wheel speed, the grits will dig deeper into the workpiece, and that'll have the same effect as doing double the feed rate, but we don't have the high material removal rate, so we have the benefit of having our wheel open up more quickly. However, we don't have that big feed rate that's going to give us the bigger risk of burn and other bad things happening. Or another option is, well, let's cut our feed rate in half, cut our wheel speed in half, or we can even take it a step further, cut our feed rate in half, cut our wheel speed even more than half, but then you've got to be careful because getting low wheel speeds can cause problems on their own right. So depending on your part size and how you want to approach it, you can go for the faster feed rate to get the wheel to open up, pay the consequences with the higher material removal rate. You can go with the lower wheel speed and keep the same feed rate and get the wheel to open up more quickly, but then you may still have a little bit of burn. You can drop your feed rate and then drop your wheel speed even more. Uh, so get the benefit of the lower material removal rate and getting the wheel to open up more quickly. It's up to you which one you want to choose, but these are several approaches that you can take to get your wheel to open up more quickly and get your material removal rate to something that you can handle so that you don't get burn of the part. But in the end, we want those CBN grits to open up more quickly, and the best way to do that is to have them dig into the workpiece, big forces on the grits, get them to fracture earlier than they are right now.